Remember the Oscars big picture snafu last year? Well, the Academy wants to make sure that never happens again. The 90th annual Oscar nominations were announced yesterday, and today, well, all eyes are on Price Waterhouse Coopers. And a lot of you guys are like, what does that even mean? Well, let's go back in time. So while we think last year's Best Picture winner mix-up was an Oscars moment for the history books, the Academy, well, they don't exactly see it the same way. That's why Price Waterhouse Coopers has revealed a series of changes for this year's awards show in an effort to avoid any future envelope failure. BTW, that company, is the accounting firm behind the Oscars. But before we go into any more detail, we know that you're dying to see last year's mix-up moment again. So. Bay Dunaway announced La La Land as the Best Picture winner, and the cast gave speeches, and then Moonlight was announced as the real winner. I'm sorry, no, there's a mistake. This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. There was much speculation as to who caused the mix-up, but what actually went down was a Price Waterhouse Cooper's partner accidentally handed the envelope for the Best Actress category to the presenters for Best Picture. PricewaterhouseCoopers senior partner Tim Ryan announced he will be personally involved with the Oscars operations this year. Tim told the AP that the two partners who worked on last year's show have been replaced by three new partners. The new third balloting partner will sit with Oscars producers in the show's control room in addition to the two balloting partners that sit on either side of the stage. The third person in the control room will have a set of envelopes and have the winners memorized. No pressure though, right? Further, the three balloting partners will attend the Oscars rehearsal and practice what to do if something goes wrong. If that was not enough, guys, a new procedure was put in place to confirm that the celeb presenter and stage manager have been given the correct envelope for the category before going on stage. And after last year's flub, all partners are prohibited from using their phones during the show. I guess that makes sense. Somehow, after hearing all of this, we're more excited than ever to see what actually goes down at this year's Academy Awards set to air on March 4th. So tell us what you guys think of these extreme new measures. Do you think it's going to actually prevent any envelope failure? After that, click right over here to see the best moments from the 2018 SAG Awards. I'm your host, Jocelyn Davis. Thanks for hanging. We'll see you later.